right, Christy, if you're ready, we're just going to be lying on your back with your head on the pillow. Good. So we're going to start with a lot of treatments um, where the patient will start in supine hook line. All we want to see there is that it's pretty easy to get people on and off. This is pretty robust and stable. Um, this component pops out that we're going to do later when we go to use this platform as an exercise device. In the meantime, it goes into place. We secure and make this thing solid by pulling one of these pretty easy pull tabs. And we just start with the easiest pad there if we slide her in and then lock in that tab. The tension from the board keeps the whole unit together, so it's a pretty easy functioning plinth. You might also notice we've got a slight shimmer, just one of the steps that's ready available in most clinics to bring the thing to horizontal. Later, we're going to remove that shim to add an angle to the shuttle recovery to give it more resistance so you're working against gravity more. Right now, for treatments, we like that horizontal. So a lot of the things we treat in clinic, whether we're treating the hip, the low back, or the knee, quite often we have to do techniques on the hip. I'm just going to show you a basic belt technique that we do a lot in clinic. The intent of this video isn't to make you a manual therapist. We recommend that you do a number of different trainings for that. But the idea is that with time being of the essence in clinic is this is a technique we use a lot and what's nice is you could do it right here and then go pretty easy right into your exercise. If the gym's busy, a lot of times too, it's never bad to have another place that you can rest a patient, put them supine or prone for a treatment, and in a sense, gain another plant. So, Chris, is that comfortable? This is a belt technique we use to mobilize the hip. It's good for a lot of things we treat, trochanter, bursitis, femoral acetabulum, pendulant, even some of our patients with osteoarthritis. But the key is that comfortable for you, Christy, is you know what you think, is that comparable to most of the plinth thing you can relax? There's no reason you couldn't put your usual bolsters or, or pillows on here, but we can pretty easily implement a manual technique. I could put someone supine to check some of the ranges of motion or things that I'd like to know. Common terms in manual therapies I'd like to treat out the joint and address some of those biomechanical impairments before I put them in exercise. It's nice to have this and for the patients who are ready, do the treatment and then go right into an exercise. Um, why don't we have you when you're ready too, Christy, is for some of those things of patient transfer and position, one of the features they've added here too are pretty easy to use adjustment for the hand is these just your threaded so with one hand you can loosen them you can put them up or down and slide them so if we had a patient that we wanted to put that a little closer i tighten that down go ahead and grab that hand just to see if that helps you go ahead and come back up to sitting so obviously for a young athletic very well conditioned model right here we don't need that but it's nice for elderly patients is being able to quickly move that right to their hand can be surprisingly reassuring especially i'll tell you for our patients with balance problems so in a second we'll pause and we'll just show you some other positioning and prone or whatnot that we can have people do to check range of motion or other manual or upper body techniques. Okay?